Hi, Crystal Balls. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for being here today. So today we are going to do a reading about Sebastian Rogers. He is a 15-year-old boy that went missing in late February of 2024. And as of this day, it's April 3rd, uh, 2024. He is still missing and there is no indication um, what is going on with him. Um, I'm As far as you know, any leads or anything like that, at least nothing that's been made public at this time. Um, supposedly he disappeared from his house somewhere between midnight and 6 a.m. And he is autistic. So, um, he's also, you know, facing if he's out there by himself facing whether that he may not be dressed appropriately for. It also seems like it also seems like he um, was dressed in his pajamas, most likely. Now, his dad, his biological father, I don't think has anything to do with it. But he's been boots on the ground, like, looking for his dad. But his mom and his stepdad um, are acting a little strange. And I don't know if they have anything to do with it. It's really sad that when a child goes missing, we have to point the fingers at the parents first, but that makes the most sense, especially when there's no evidence to the contrary of except him and his mother being in the house, his stepdad being gone that entire weekend or that entire week, whatever the case may be. Um, but Sebastian, 15 year old boy missing, um, autistic and of course probably in a lot of danger so we're going to take a look here and see what's going on the strength card gives me a little bit of apprehension because that means he wants people to be strong now that could be him alive right now um, really wanting people to be strong and really wanting people to gather around and his family to get along and for all that good stuff to happen. Um, but he definitely is asking for strength right now, not just for himself, but for his family, for his loved ones. The page of swords tells me that it's just telling me about his youth and how young he actually is. He might be 15 years old in body, but in mind, he's younger than that. And you know, part of that is his autism, but he's just a sweet young boy and doesn't really do anything bad. Like, you know, he's, he's a sweet young boy. The Ace of Wands is the luckiest card in the deck. So maybe just maybe we'll get lucky with this one. And this kid actually will be found safe and alive. And he's, I think he's still in the house. As weird as that is, I think he's still in the house. I think, like, his parents have put him somewhere in the house and he's still there. Um, there's no doorbell footage anywhere, show unless the police are not telling us that, which is possible, that he left the house ever. Um, a lot of judgment is happening, of course. Of course, a lot of judgment is happening right now against his family, against people around him. But everybody's a suspect until they're not, especially when it comes to children. You know, you're, you're guilty first and then you, you prove yourself innocent later. I know it sucks, but that's the way it is. Um, the King of Wands tells me that there is a strong figure looking over him. Um, this could be in spirit. Um, meaning this could be a spirit guide that's looking over him. I'm not necessarily saying that he's in spirit because I don't know. I, my hope is in this strength will find him. I hope that we will. I, I don't know if we will. I, I don't know if he's still around, but my hope is, is so adamant that I think he could still be around somewhere. Um, he's asking for prayers of peace, prayers of peace, please. Prayers of peace. Um, there's a lot of work here making something seem like it is, but it isn't. 
I disagree with the timeline. I disagree with the fact that the mother said she went to bed at midnight and went, heard a thump, but didn't go to investigate um, about midnight in his room, just told him to go to bed. Um, and then all of a sudden at 6 a.m. he's gone. I don't believe that. I don't believe her. I don't believe her timeline. I believe that she is completely making that up. And I believe that she um, knows exactly what happened to him. Um, yeah. I feel like the stepdad and the dad don't really know. I don't think the dad knows at all. I think the stepdad knows something. But he's sticking by his wife's side. So whatever his wife says goes. Like, it, he may seem like he wears the pants in that family, but it's her. She's the one that does. Um, they are very much a union. They very much um, are each other's biggest support system, which is great. But at the same time, there is uh, supporting too much. And believing exactly what your spouse says, even though you know somewhere deep down that that can't be true. So, again, a lot of hard work was made to make him disappear. Um, justice will happen for Sebastian. So, whatever's going to happen to Sebastian, whatever has happened to him, there will be justice for him. I think we are going to find out what happened to him and where he's at. And I, I, like I said, my hope is very adamant that he, I don't know if adamant's the right word, but that's kind of where it's just adamantly saying hope that he is still alive. Um, I feel like at least one person's going to go down for this who feels very alone, um, feels very alone right now. And I feel like this is something that was, was done to him. I don't think he walked away himself. I don't think he got up in the morning and decided that I'm going to leave the house. I, I don't believe the timeline. Um, they're trying to blind us by saying what's happening here. What's happening here? Listen here. Listen here. But we're actually being blinded to the truth. So whatever's going on, and I'm worried that's a trafficking situation, is happening. Um, so we can't look over here. We need to look straight at it and see exactly what's going on. Um, there Again, there are a lot of angels and stuff around him. There's people trying to keep him protected wherever he is, whatever form he's in. And I can't tell you because I, I don't feel like he's dead, but I don't feel like he's alive either. So I think he's in a state of limbo right now. I think he's in a situation where he doesn't feel alive and he's scared and he's alone. So last thing. His dad will fight to the death until he finds out what happened to him. His dad, um, somebody that loves his son very much. And I'm not saying that mom and step my dad don't love him, but they don't love him the way that dad loves him. And I feel like dad is going to fight the entire earth until he finds him. He will walk the earth until he finds him. And finally, the king of swords, I feel like justice is going to happen. And I feel like... Um, this is going to be a very sad situation. This is going to be very heartbreaking to find out exactly what happened to him. We're going to find out some things about the mom and the stepdad that are pretty horrific. And I, I feel like they know a lot more than what they're saying. So I hope you enjoyed my reading about Sebastian Rogers. Please remember that he is a real child, that he is missing and um, if you have any information out there, please call the uh, hotline or call 911. Let them know that you have information about him. Make sure it's credible information. All right. Thank you, everybody, and have a great day or night wherever you are in this world. Remember, every single day is a gift. Use your time wisely.